Our live coverage of this major story continues now with a look at what this does to Pittsburgh's economy and its image. Action News reporter John Griner joins us live. John, this does strike a major blow at efforts to revitalize downtown. It does, Sally, because you're losing more than a thousand people who work and spend money downtown every day. But beyond that, this probably does not send a good message to companies looking to locate in Pittsburgh. There may not be a store any better known in Pittsburgh than Kaufman's. The loss of jobs there hurts the city's image, even though officials are trying to be optimistic. Uh, these are administrative jobs, good paying jobs, going to another community. We'll miss them, uh, but we'll replace them and, uh, and we'll recover from this. But some say the larger message may be that businesses are moving out of Pittsburgh. I think that overall, when you look at the whole economic picture, and we're losing a lot of the companies and a lot of the image overall nationally. I think that's, I think, the, the main concern that we have here. Especially troubling, she says, is losing so many jobs at a store that began here when people drove horse and buggies. The Kaufman brothers, Jacob, Isaac, Morris, and Henry, first built at this location in 1878. They put this 13-story building up in 1913 when it became a popular place to congregate under the Kaufman's clock. The May Company has left open the option of changing the store's name, which according to Gusky, won't sit well with Pittsburghers. We're used to our horns and gimbals and Kaufman's of the past, and so I think a lot of the older shoppers are going to be trying to find alternative means to shop. And older shoppers are important here because the demographics of Allegheny County are so old. So the question is, when the decisions are being made in Boston, will they know what shoppers want as the people here in Pittsburgh do? We'll find out. Live on the north side, John Greiner, Channel 4 Action.